What to do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl's here to bring you another video on my Must Have Must Gag series. This is my series I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have her series and the community playlist linked down below as well as all of the Instagram pages I follow to get all of this makeup knowledge. And lastly, I always have all of the items listed and linked down below. If there is an asterisk behind it, that means that it is an affiliated link. I would appreciate if you shop through that link. That does help to give me a little something something. And I can actually put that money back into the channel uh, to further buy more stuff that I don't need to review for you guys because I really do enjoy doing this as a pastime um, and just talking with you guys about things that I already was going to pick up, etc, etc. So yeah, that's pretty much it um i did record this look just recently um like literally the two minutes ago um so it will be coming up later on this week i'm aiming to get it up um and before i scoot over i just wanted to scroll through and talk about all of the products i said i was interested in last week and tell you guys basically if i bought them or not um for the fenty perfume she her her full size fragrance conveniently went out of stock um and you can attest my coworker can attest to this because i was complaining galore about the fact that you could not smell that fragrance but she expected you to drop over a hundred dollars on a fragrance yeah no so conveniently it went out of stock and she conveniently had already holiday sets where you get three in a set i did pick that up along with maybe one or two things i genuinely don't remember <laughs> what did i buy um let's see because i definitely did buy something so i bought that fragrance oh and then i also bought um a toner because i actually am running out of toner so i was a little bit strategic on that purchase um so that should be coming to me soon very soon um it did just recently ship but i'm pretty sure they had like the shipping set up so that I get it before Christmas. So I'm not really bothered about Christmas. It's not going to be a gift. It's for moi, but you know, I wouldn't mind getting it early. So I definitely did pick something up from Fenty. Uh, Rare Beauty to date, I still have not picked up that uh, blush that I was interested in. I have not picked up the Briogeo spray yet, not the Caladio stuff. I didn't end up even going on to Beautylicious website when the Wayne Goss brushes released, but had I known that the Beautylish gift card that they give every year after the gift card event was actually going to expire this year as well, I probably would have just put that towards buying this brush. I am still interested in a couple other things brush-wise from Beautylish, such as Sonia G's uh, brush collection and stuff. And she has sneak peeked that she's actually coming out with a new brush collection, and I will talk about that in a little bit. So if that brush collection becomes available, that's just what I'm going to use my gift card event or my gift card for because I don't want to just lose that money like I spent money to gain that money. So I might as well use it. So that's kind of how that cookies crumbles. I still have yet to actually pick up the colored rain palette, but we will be talking about some more products from them today. So I might just do one big bundle um i have not picked up my fragrance technically from sephora yet but i did just come back from picking up a fragrance from ulta with that coupon and some other things so that's that um i think that's all the rundown from last week let's get into the few things from this week there really isn't all that much so it should be a quick run through So I just want to talk about a little bit closer of a look with the Rare Beauty um, spring collection that is launching on Christmas. Um, yeah, on Christmas at 9 a.m. PST. And it is going to be launching on their website as well in case you're interested. You're going to have that bronzing stick in the radiant setting powder along with the powder brush. For me, I am only interested in the stick and i would be interested in the shade true warmth it is the darkest in their collection and it seems to be the warmest of the two kind of darker shades and i do love a really warm bronzer period so 
I will probably be picking that up. Um, it's annoying that I would then need to have two separate orders because I am most likely still going to purchase a fragrance before Christmas, but it is what it is. The Collective Cosmetics, which I've heard of this brand being um, showcased a lot by Nikki Raven. So this is a new palette from them and it's called My Mind's Eye. It is a really dark, ready toned palette. I would definitely say this is really good color scheme for like Christmas or the holidays in general in case you don't celebrate Christmas. You can still get some use out of this palette. Um, but it looks to be too many shimmery shades, not enough mattes, but also the shimmery shades that are in this palette don't look unique enough for me. So the full collection from Glam Light has now been revealed and it has already launched. And this is their collaboration with Icy. You have the two, um, what are those, four by three, so the two 16 pan palettes one is more bluey toned one is more readier toned um and then you have the lip glosses that i talked about last week so i already told you guys i am unbothered by those lip glosses i honestly don't need a lot of lip gloss and then also the packaging is just too much too much then we have the two eyeshadow palettes and although they are both pretty color schemes I am going to pass, really a very easy pass in the blue one. I'm not interested, let alone I have my blue palettes. I just recently did a tutorial with them um, and this screams just slightly bigger version of the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. So I really don't need it, although the, they do have some similar unique blues in here. So if you didn't pick up the ColourPop palette, I would say, I mean, hey, why not? As for the readier toned one, I will say I am a lot more intrigued by this palette, but I'm not convinced that I need to pick it up. Honestly, I'm just scared that the packaging is going to be a lot and I just, I don't want it or need it. It's only $25, which is not a bad deal. And the shimmers look interesting. I want to see some swatches. Let me see if I can get some swatches. Ah, so there are swatches on the, the website, so I'm just going to screenshot those and insert those right now. As I'm looking at the swatches, the metallics don't look unique enough, and I know, I know I have these in between my singles, my Violet Voss Coral Palette, so I'm going to actually just full-on pass when it comes to this collection. Jason Wu has come out with more products for his line, and they are two eyeshadow palettes. They don't look interesting enough for me. They're super, super neutral, which don't get me wrong. I have been gravitating towards neutral specifically when I wear makeup to work. I've been really rocking the neutral looks, okay? Been rocking them and I've been enjoying them. My coworkers have been enjoying them. So it has nothing to do with the fact that it's neutrals. These just look super, super basic. Once again, the metallics don't look unique enough and the mattes don't look deep enough. So this is gonna be an easy pass for me. So another thing that Colored Rain came out with, um, they came out with two actual launches. So let's group those together. First, let's talk about their base. So they have a base now where it comes in four different shades, deep desert sand, rope, wheat, and white. I am very, very intrigued by this base. So I recently picked up the eyeshadow base from Natasha Denona. I will, I'm putting it into the existence. I will finish my MAC paint pot by the time this year is over, preferably before my project pan is over, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, and then I also have one other additional base. So I've been wanting, um, so the Natasha Denona base basically is equivalent to the shade of the MAC base that I am finishing up. So that's going to be the like second to lightest shade. I would love to have a white and I would love to have a black base in addition to the two bases that I already have. So I am actually intrigued enough that I may pick up this white base um, in addition to some other things that I am already intrigued by from Colored Rain. And so, like I said, last week they came out with that $25 palette, which was really, really pretty, calling my name. And then they also came out with what, what, with what looks like two six pan palettes. They are very reminiscent to like the Nobla six pan in packaging, not necessarily color scheme. The color scheme looks whimsical and romantic. I think they're both called botanical to one extent or another. They're really, really pretty. It's 
the whole collection is called the botanical collection and they're also coming out with two cream blushes and for me i am very excited for the cream blushes those are going to be 12 dollars each the palettes are going to be six dollars each they have many of their liquid lipsticks which are ten dollars each they have a classic satin lipstick which is a ten dollar so i'm guessing it's a bullet and then they have lip liners and lip glosses i am very very intrigued by this collection it will be launching on december 20th so in a couple of days so let me see i'm recording this on friday because it's my only day off this week so it'll be launching tomorrow when you guys are seeing this if you guys are watching this on the day it um airs and yeah i'm intrigued i really <laughs> i really don't have the money for this right now but we'll see we'll see what happens on the 20th how froggy i'm feeling because apparently i've been feeling super super froggy so next Too Faced is coming out with their spring collection it's actually already available it, they came out with a blush two eyeshadow palettes and the lipsticks and then some mascaras so the blush is really pretty but i don't wear that shade of blush so i'm not even gonna play myself um the eyeshadow palette is okay but it doesn't really look all that good on the person of colors uh, skin tone and then the darker smaller one actually looks cute but I don't think I'll actually reach for this so I am gonna full-on pass when it comes to this um, I know a lot of people have been really bugging because Too Faced is launching their spring collection now you got to think about it all of these brands they have lost so much money in the grand scheme of things because people have not been spending as much money on makeup etc this past year a lot of people have really been investing into skincare so all of these makeup brands have to try and make up their revenue before the quarter ends in one way or another and so for the uh i think what estee lauder is two faces um parent company whatever their two pay their parent company is i'm sure they real they recognize that they are losing this revenue their stocks are going down etc etc so they have to make it up one way and they think that launching something new and exciting before potentially their quarter ends might help them to boost their sales so it makes sense in a financial aspect but as like a consumer aspect it makes absolutely no sense to me so what is this thing again emily in paris a series that i still have yet to even pay attention to is getting their second collaboration with spectrum i mean i'm not interested in the tv show so i'm definitely not going to be interested in this collaboration uh and it it's it's really that simple for me it really is first day beauty is coming out with a couple of new products so they're coming out with ingrown hair pads hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid a pure skin face cleanser and a hello fab coconut water cream so i am currently using their really skin friendly eco whatever whatever moisturizer i'm really really enjoying that I would be interested in a cleanser from the brand like I said um well you guys have seen that video you guys will have seen that video yesterday I am really gearing towards being a lot more uh, fragrance free skin conscious when it comes to my uh, skincare and this is brand pretty much I think all of their stuff are fragrance free the cleanser is fragrance free gentle cleanser that effectively removes makeup dirt and grime leaving skin soft and supple with aloe blah blah blah, blah. so this is probably going to be something that i pick up it's only 34 dollars. hopefully it's a big big tub um and yeah the other stuff honestly i couldn't care less if i have an ingrown hair so yeah um island play cosmetics is coming out with a new palette and this is interesting it's interesting it's kind of unique it is a neutral palette but there are definitely some color all throughout it um and yeah i thought it would be interesting to talk about i don't think i'm going to be picking it up but i just want to let you guys know in case you were interested continuing on ColourPop has released another big palette and this is a 30 shade all matte mega palette and it is called gone matte mega 
I do not like palettes that are all one, whether it's all shimmers or all mattes. So this is going to be an easy pass for me. Um, it has nothing to do with like the color range because I think this could be a really good essential matte palette if somebody is into all matte looks, all neutral looks. That's just not something that I'm interested in currently, so I am going to pass. <laughs> Drunk Elephant is coming out with a vegan retinoid um, and it's but it's an oil. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm guessing their other equivalent was not vegan, which is interesting. Either way, um, it's cool. I don't necessarily need an oil. I just recently picked up an oil from some cheap brand i don't really remember i like the oil it's the their rosehip oil really enjoy that um i think it's from the order the ordinary i think um so yeah i just don't need it and kind of my days of spending excess money on drunk elephant skincare are behind me my skin is in a really good place where i just don't need drunk elephant skincare anymore um I guess soon I'll have to start worrying about wrinkles because I'm already starting to see them and that's just disrespectful honestly for my age I shouldn't but um yeah that that's that's it <laughs> fresh is also coming out with a new skincare product and this is their floral recovery redness reducing overnight mask I, I don't have any redness at all um but the recovery and the calming aspect was why I tapped it I didn't actually <laughs> read the full um title because the title was obscenely long anyways it's 68 dollars uh so yeah good for you guys um so another indie brand bbw cosmetics i wanted to highlight this not for that huge palette i could really care less but the three small more curated palettes that this brand has come out with now i can't speak for the quality i've not tried the brand and just from seeing pictures the shimmers don't look outstanding but these could be really good pocket sized palettes that somebody who does a basic look for work and does not want too much metallic on their lids this could be really useful um and so that's why i really wanted to talk about it specifically the like pinky ready toned one honestly that's like a curated version of the glam light icy palette that I talked about earlier so like that's really why I want to talk about this brand I thought it was really really cool and unique in the moment and yeah so uh what is the brand's call name um sigil inspired they're coming out with six shades of decadence night crushed shades I don't understand that that was redundant either way I am intrigued the color scheme looks beautiful but I can't actually tell definitively if this is an eyeshadow palette or if these are loose pigments I know she does a lot of loose pigments I am NOT about that loose pigment game I'm gonna try and incorporate them more next year but I just I'm not about that so I'm not gonna play myself um, but I thought these colors were really really pretty and in the event that you do enjoy loose pigments I wanted to make sure that you heard about this collection Sonia G. So I should talk about recently uh, earlier today that I wanted to pick up some Sonia G brushes and that she was coming out with a new collection. So she's been slowly sneak peeking the collection and we've seen two brushes. One looks to be a pencil brush. The other one looks like it could potentially be like a cheek like powder brush type situation. It looks beautiful. Wood handles with like a black feral really really pretty there's also like a case tower situation which i think is super super unique um and like honestly it's beautiful it unique and beautiful i don't really know how else to say it um so yeah i i am intrigued i'm very much intrigued she's saying that i think this is like a prototype and a sneak peek blah 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 either way i'm intrigued by that do i need it no no ma'am no pam i really will only be looking at the brushes but i thought that the case looked kind of cool too natasha denona is coming out with a mini of her glam palette i did not pick up the glam palette mainly because i don't necessarily reach for a lot of cool tones anymore i went through a phase where that was my thing i had the cool tones i wanted the cool tones but even when i did reach for cool tones and even when i think to reach for them now i don't reach for cool tones in this family color family so these are like grays and browns it's just not something that i reach for that said 
I have an abundance of Natasha Denona palettes and I really do enjoy creating my perfect kind of color scheme with the shades that I have. So will I eventually potentially pick up the full glam and like the full retro and these other kind of palettes that I have not picked up yet? Yes, most likely I will. But right now, I'm not going to. I'll just wait for if there is a sale. Uh, so this is actually happening today when I'm recording. So hopefully you guys saw my community post about it. Glam Light is or Give Me Glow is doing a 20% off sale on their whole store today. It started at 8 a.m. CST um, and it went for the code Go Glow 20. I'll keep this in here in the event that they might have extended, but that is something. Hopefully you guys saw my community post. Tarte is also extending their Shape Tape um, family and they're coming out with what looks to be a broad spectrum SPF in 15 shades. I will say it's interesting. It seems like they focus on giving, I would say, even a slightly bigger range on the darker tones or shades than the lighter shades, which is funny. Um, I do still have my Tarte Shape Tape foundation and I am trying to reduce the amount of foundations I have not increased them so I'm gonna pass but I look forward to hearing reviews from people that I strongly follow um, to see if they support that so I think that's it no 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 I need to talk about unearthly cosmetics so I talked about their collections that they had two holiday collections coming out but I was not able to see the full kit and caboodle so we've seen the whole thing now and one of the palettes is more rainbow inspired and then the other palette is this beautiful cool toned interesting palette the only problem that I have with these two collections is that you have to buy the whole collection. And I personally just, I don't, I don't want the whole collection. I really don't. Um, so that's unfortunate. If you did, you can get the more brighty toned one for $80. And it comes, like I said, with the bright eyeshadow palette and three liquid lipsticks, I believe. I believe no they're three lip glosses I'm sorry and then the darker one which is in the dark which is the one I would pick up you get the eyeshadow palette you get what looks to be maybe a gloss and a highlighter I don't want the highlighter the highlighter I doubt is going to work for me but I really do want that eyeshadow palette so who knows maybe if after the holiday season it goes on a wicked sale I'll pick it up um, but I just I don't want to pay the pricing of $58 for something that I know I'm not going to want to use so that's pretty much that really look out for my December haul it's going to be probably massive um, I have been picking up quite a bit of stuff and it has not only been beauty items I have been picking up nail polish fragrance makeup here and there but I also <laughs> picked up some additional products from the Beyonce Ivy Park latest launch <laughs> I only picked up one shirt originally and then I went back on the site and more things were in stock and it just went downhill it went downhill either way I would love to hear what you guys are picking up what you guys are liking all of that jazz this will be the last video um, in this series for this year next week I will not be doing a must-have must gag so that is that I hope you guys have a really good Christmas Kwanzaa if you celebrate it. I hope you had a good Hanukkah if you celebrated that. Um, and now that we're at the full on end, let's do a giveaway. So I'm going to do a giveaway for an Ulta $100 gift card. Um, all you need to do is sound off down below, make a comment, hashtag Swagmas. Um, and at the end of Swagmas, which is on the 31st, I will contact the winner. And yeah, so this is just a little secret for the people who stayed at the end uh, to hear my rambling. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Bye guys.